How did you like the tea? Great. <laughs> <laughs> Gatherings of tea is often an assistance uh, that helps the host in serving bowls of tea to the guests and in bringing uh, in utensils. While many gatherings tend to be smaller like this one, occasionally there are uh, tea gatherings uh, at which uh, dozens of people are served in one city. And uh, have any of you uh, traveled to Kyoto to the Osenke headquarters by any chance? I just mentioned that because once or twice a year there is a uh, what they call an, an international chocolate, an international tea gathering, uh, which is often over to the, the broad public, and uh, sometimes will be well over 100 people that are served and enjoying bowls of tea in the same big room. Uh, so it's, it's, it's really uh, quite a After each of the guests have enjoyed their bowl of tea, the first guest will ask the host, uh, please, uh, that everyone is finished. Uh, There's a close connection between the seasons and how tea is practiced. And there are two main seasons in tea, uh, which are called Kudo and Ro. And these are distinguished by the placement of the kettle. Uh, we just entered into Kudo season recently, which is in the spring, summer, early fall. And during that season, the, uh, the kettle and the hearth are placed uh, in their current position. Ro season, which is the colder months of the year, uh, finds the kettle placed actually in the floor of the room, uh, exactly to the right of where the host is sitting. And in uh, older Japanese houses, there, there was no central heating. Um, and during the winter, the rooms could often get very cold because the traditional house is wooden. And so the, uh, by having the hearth uh, in the floor, this brings the guest and the host both closer together and to the hearth itself, so they uh, first can keep warm. But also, uh, Brings, uh, brings them closer together for more uh, intimate gathering and, and uh, a sense of connection. <laughs> After cleaning the utensils, the host will take them out of the room. You may have noticed uh, that the host, uh, in taking out the utensil container, turned her back to the guests. This is because she doesn't want to show the guests the dirty water in the bowl. It wouldn't be very respectful. Uh, but the other utensils uh, are removed from the room um, in front of the guests. gathering closes with a bow exchange between the host and guests 
And this concludes our demonstration of the Usacha uh, or the Thinti uh, ceremony, the Thinti ceremony. Often at gatherings, um, after all the utensils have been removed from the room, the, uh, a number of, of utensils, specifically the Natsume or the Padutiki and the Chashaka, the tea scoop, uh, will be left in the room for the guests to look at. Often these objects are works of art in themselves, and uh, it's, uh, the guests enjoy the chance to take a look at them, but we're not doing that today. Uh, I'd like to thank our volunteer. Then you can might have about uh, Chado or about uh, the association. Thank you.